For this move, what we're going to do is called a single leg stretch, and it's like a Pilates exercise, only we're using the wall. And the reason why the wall is so good for this is because when you extend your leg out and you touch the wall, it's the uh, force is going to come back and it's going to strengthen all the muscles in the legs along with you being able to really grip and lift up your core. So you're going to get a great impact for this workout being that you're using the wall as opposed to not using the wall. So with Mary Eileen, what she's going to do first of all is bring her knees to her chest. And she's going to bring her forehead in. There you go. And you're going to try to want to bring your forehead to your knees. The reason why is because you really want to be able to tip your pubic bone in. And uh, you're, as you're bringing your forehead in, you're going to really recruit down below the navel. So it's so important to be able to not just have your, um, your chin slightly up, but tuck your chin in and bring your forehead in. So that way you can really get a good scooping. And then she's going to exhale, and you'll see she's not really using her neck and shoulders to fold in. She's using the side of her torso. Now, before we start this routine, I like to test it and to make sure that when you're on the mat next to the wall, that you're in the proper um, position because in, in distance. So that way you know every time you extend your leg, you're gripping in the right place. So with Mary Eileen, I'm going to have her extend her right leg out. And you're going to see that her light right leg had to stretch kind of far which causes her to have to arch her back a little bit. And so what we're going to do is have her bring her leg back in. She's going to shift her body down a little bit. So with you at home, you're going to be able to test it back and forth, kind of come down a little close, go away a little bit. Find a position when you extend your right leg out that you can feel it's very easy to keep the scooping going. You want to keep that scooping going. So she's got her scooping and just the right toes are touching the wall just enough with that little push up. We're able to now strengthen right into her calf muscles and into her hamstring and, and keep her pubic bone tucked in a little bit so she keeps that core working for her. Really good move. Go ahead and bring your right leg in and now bring your left leg out. So she's just testing that out a little bit, making sure, too, that her chest is always forward. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the routine now. She's going back and forth like this, and you just tap the wall. That's all you have to do. Just tap it enough that immediately that force comes right back into your leg muscle. As she's going back and forth, she has her body like planted on the mat, as if there was like a strap coming right across her body, keeping her body as still as possible. So the challenge of this exercise as she's gently touching the wall, reaching her toes, coming forward, is to keep her body as still as possible, uh, forcing her to have to recruit down below the navel and the core. Going back and forth, and she exhales every time she comes with her knees in. And when, um, another option for this one is for Mary Eileen to hold her head up. So if you find that it's really hard to hold your head up, because Pilates has a, a, a way of doing that where you um, can really strain your neck a lot, being that you have to hold your head up to recruit your core. So I highly recommend interlace your fingers and put your hand right behind the bony part of your skull to be able to support, and she can even bring her arms in like that. You can just cradle that head if you want, because it, it, yeah, keeping that head in and keeping your chin tucked in is, is relaxed will really help you go into your core. So I don't mind you really supporting your head. It's so important, because once you start irritating your neck, it's really hard to reverse that. Going on three, and see how our body's nice and steady here, and two, and one, good. Go ahead and curl back in. Wrap your hands around your legs. Exhale all the air out. 